Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we got a diagram that consists of a bunch of isosceles triangles such that the side lengths AB equal to BC equal to CD equals to DE is equal to EF equals to FG and equal to GH and moreover this angle G is 70 degrees and now we are going to calculate the angle X. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So before we proceed let me make it clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. It is an isosceles triangle since AB equal to BC. If this angle is X, this angle has got to be X as well. And now let's recall this exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. As you can see over here, x is our exterior angle and this is equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles alpha and beta. So therefore this angle B is going to be our exterior angle and this is going to be equal to x plus x is going to make uh, 2x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on the next triangle BCD and we know this is an isosceles triangle since BC equal to CD. If this angle is 2x this angle has got to be 2x as well. Now in this next step let's focus on this triangle ACD and we know that this angle C is an exterior angle. So therefore this exterior angle is going to be the sum of this opposite interior angle x and that 2x. So x plus 2x is going to make it 3x. And now let's focus on this next triangle CDE and we know that this triangle is isosceles triangle as well. If this angle is 3x then this angle has got to be 3x as well. Now let's focus on this triangle ADE and we know that this angle D is going to be exterior angle. So therefore this is going to be the sum of these two interior opposite angles x plus 3x. x plus 3x is going to pick 4x. And now let's consider this triangle DEF and this is once again an isosceles triangle. So therefore if this angle is 4 this angle has got to be 4x as well. And now let's consider this triangle AEF and we can see that this angle E is our exterior angle. So therefore this is going to be the sum of these two opposite interior angles x and this 4x 1 plus 4x is going to make 5x. And now let's focus on the next triangle EFG and once again this is an isosceles triangle. If this angle is 5x this angle has got to be 5x as well. And now let's focus on this triangle AFG and we can see that this angle F is our exterior angle and this is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angle X and this 5X, 5X plus X is going to make 6X. And now we are going to consider this triangle FGH and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle. So therefore if this angle is 6x this angle has got to be 6x as well. And here's our final step. Let's consider this triangle AGH and we can see that this angle G is our 
exterior angle and this is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angle x and 6x so therefore this angle g is going to be x plus 6x is going to make uh, 7x so thus we can see that this angle turns out to be 7x but we know that this angle is 70 degree as well so we can go ahead and equate that one I can write 7x equal to 70 degrees let's divide both sides by 7 to solve for x so x turns out to be simply 10 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 10 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.